Welcome back to Hawkeye Skunk Works. I'm Joe. We're going to have a little adventure this weekend. So, it is Saturday and it's lunchtime. We uh, were supposed to go on a little uh, group outing. I hesitate to say the word overlanding because that's not really what it was, but we were going to go do some some back road exploring up in northwest Iowa, um, run some level B roads which are kind of like farm track roads that are, are technically open to the public but um, they're not maintained really. But the weather was so bad that uh, we uh, called it off but my wife and I had already made arrangements for the kids and, um, and everything else so we decided we were going to go out anyway. Um, stick to the gravel roads basically, um, not um, run a lot of the level B roads that are going to be really, really nasty. Which I'm not worried about driving on, I just, it's more tearing it up for other people. Um, so we've stopped at a uh, bridge, uh, kind of a boat ramp place that's obviously not a boat ramp this time of year. See the, the Jeep is all is a little dirty from the gravel. It's been raining and sleeting and it's cold and windy and, but we're having a good time. So we got uh, we're gonna make a little sandwich lunch here on the back of the this sleeping platform works pretty good as a uh, a table and I am gonna have a, a full video um, of the sleeping platform and a whole write up on dimensions and how I built it and what I used and stuff so if anybody wants to to duplicate it but um, other than that we're gonna eat and we're gonna keep cruising we've got uh, a track already laid out that we're gonna follow to a campground that I think is open so um, we got lots of blankets we got the buddy heater and uh, we're gonna have a good time so stay tuned I just can't see anything look at the window yeah, we got to get right now in the valley which is pretty cool considering where we actually live in Iowa is really flat we're about an hour and a half northwest and it does get a little bit hillier and uh, so it's pretty you can see down here we've got a uh, creek bed we're driving along nope. and I can't see <laughs> we've got a lot of uh, mud and, and crud on the window so we got a little bit dirtier than we anticipated we did have to like I said we've been trying to stay mostly on the uh, gravel roads and stay away from the level B roads we did have to go cut through a couple of them but uh, what we did find interesting that I had never seen before today was the one the level B roads that we had to go on were actually uh, marked with street numbers they were actually streets I've always just seen uh, minimum maintenance roads, pursuit your own risk with no street names, no street numbers. Um, so I don't know if it's because we're in a different county than I usually see these roads in, um, but uh, they weren't they weren't too bad 
I think if the temperature had been a little bit warmer with the amount of moisture that we have, it would have been really bad. And we would have just made an absolute mess of things. But um, we're probably, I think we're about a half hour, 45 minutes from our campsites right now. So we're just gonna take a little bit of video going through the woods here and it's a really nice scenic route. Um, what we're using for our uh, mapping and GPS is I've got uh, Gaia, um, the, I think it's the $20 app, the one-time fee on my iPad. And then we are using, um, I've actually got a buddy's Bad Elf um, GPS unit that we have it Bluetoothed. Um, actually, I have to look to see where we're going right now. Um, and it's been working really well, um, even out in the boonies. So, I, the Gaia app map, Gaia app map, for where we're at has not been 100% accurate, but it's been very close. Um, I'm, I really need to use this more because for the amount of experience I have with it, I'm sure there's more to it, but there's a lot of it that I don't like how it operates, and I'm sure that's just down to user error. So, um, we're going to continue on. We're not taking a straight route by any means to where we're going but um, like I said uh, this setup has been working really well for us today and um, this is a really nice stretch of road here if anybody um, is local to me and you want to know the route and stuff I'd be more than happy to to email it to you we're gonna um, I need to connect a few dots uh, back when I get to a computer and log into my Gaia account but um, See you in a bit. Hey, uh, I just wanted to hop out real quick. I just got splashed in the face. Um, it's raining pretty good. And actually, if you look, this is all ice. Um, I've had plenty of traction, thankfully. It gets it wore, gets worn through. Technically, this is a road, even though I would classify it as a, uh, a light trail. We got a river, creek bed down here, bluffs up here, and we continue down. Um, this has been a blast. I, I had no idea we had anything like this anywhere remotely close to me. I put my cube camera up on the roof rack. And uh, it's raining on the camera here, which is not waterproof, but I just wanted to jump out and kind of show you guys real quick what we're, uh, what we're doing. We're having, we're having such a good time. So uh, we found a place to park up. Um, none of the camping was open. Well, I mean, you could you could camp. There was no facilities available, which uh, you know, it's the end of February. So we found a 72-hour parking limit, uh, public parking down by the river here, and uh, we're just gonna park up here for the night. It's close to gas stations if we need to make a potty break. Um, I'm holding my lamp up here because. My to-do list included putting Velcro on the hatch so I could have light. Of course, that didn't get done. But we're cooking up some uh, steak meat here. We're going to have some tacos. We're going to hop in the front seats and, and eat it. And then we'll lay out our bedding in the back. And uh, it's cold, it's wet, but we're dry for the most part. We're having a good time. And uh, yeah, that's what it's all about. We saw some really awesome stuff today. We drove down some really awesome roads. and. Uh, it's almost time to eat, so we'll eat, and then once we get the bedding and stuff laid out, we'll probably, end the, we'll probably wrap the video up. And it's about done. Looks good. How that is, is it? That is delicious. Awesome. So, it's a little after 8 o'clock, and uh, it's dark and we're in bed, because 
That's what you do when it's pouring cats and dogs and 35 degrees out. Uh, I think we'll probably get the iPad out and see what route we want to take. On the way home tomorrow, uh, we'll probably backtrack a little bit because we had some really, really fun roads. But uh, pull my iPhone out, pull a little clip uh, while we're laying here in the Jeep. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, bring some more, we'll get some more clips tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>